Introduction Masela Alba belongs to the family. Masela is a commonly known as Malabar spinach, Indian spinach, vine spinach, and alupati. Although it has been reported in Asian system of medicine, it did not gain much importance and has always remained controversial. It has been found to be a good source of betacyanin which appear reddish to violet pigment. Masela Alba, health fruit with dark blue skin and deep red violet flesh, is a potential source of natural colorants. Its pigment components and bioactivities deserve particular attention and investigation. In this study, fruit flesh was extracted with 80% methanol containing 0.2% formic acid and subjected to solid phase extraction, semi preparative HPLC isolation, mass spectrophotometric analysis and structural elucidation. In the present study, fruits from the Basella Alba, Alba plants were used as an acid-base indicator to detect the endpoint of acid-base titration. Synthetic colorants are generally harmful and cause allergies to humans. The current studies also dealt with the use of natural dye from the fruit extract in presence of common products at lower and higher pH values and whether it can properly be used as an alternative pH indicator. Treatment of the problem. The study focused on the concept of using alugbati fruit or Baselia alba extract as an alternative pH indicator. Researchers quested to provide the answer to the following questions. Number one, can the alugbati fruit or Baselia alba extract serve as an alternative pH indicator? Number two, does the alugbati fruit or Baselia alba extract have the same effect as litmus paper and other pH indicators? Number three, does the alugbati fruit or Baselia alba extra react to products with different pH levels. Objectives of the study The study focused on the concept of using alugbati or Baselia alba fruit extra as an alternative pH indicator. Specifically, the researchers aim to number 1. Identify the most effective concentration to be used for pH indicating between these three ratios of exact and distilled water using 5 ml as the basis. 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, and 1 is to 15. Determining the alubati fruits extract solution mixed with sample solution will have the same color or pH level result with litmus paper and pH meter. Number 3. Recommend the alubati fruit extract as an alternative pH indicator. Research hypothesis. The following were alternative hypotheses used for this study. Hypothesis number 1. Achieving the most effective concentration that will be mixed to the sample solutions using one of these ratios. 1 is to 1, and 1 is to 2, and 1 is to 15. Also, the extract with distilled water mixed with sample solution achieved the exact color and result. Hypothesis number 2. The result of alubati fruits extract solution mixed with sample solution didn't match with the litmus paper and pH meter. Hypothesis number 3. The alubati fruits extract is highly recommended as an alternative pH indicator. Significance of the study This study is done with the goal of having an alternative pH indicator with the use of alubati, also known as Basila alba, by substituting the use of litmus paper and pH meter in determining the acidity and basicity of the products used in our daily lives. Especially, the results of this study will be beneficial to the people differently. Scope and Limitations The study covers the use of alubati fruit extract as an alternative pH indicator. The extracted fruit of alubati will then be mixed with distilled water to obtain three types of concentrations. Using 5 ml as the basis, the ratios are 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, and 1 is to 15. Furthermore, it focuses on the extracted alubati fruit and its precision in evaluating the fruit extract in titration. Since it targets the fruit of alubati, there will be no plants nor parts of the plants will be used in this study. Review of Related Literature A review of the taxonomy and the botany, phytochemistry, and pharmacology of Pasala alba. Pasala alba is an important green leafy vegetable found commonly in the tropical regions of the world. The plant is used as a substitute for true spinach and also has a great ethnomedicinal importance. Different studies have proved that the plant is rich in vitamin A and vitamin C, along with the flavonoids, saponins,
carotenoids, many amino acids, and organic acids. Various in vivo and in vitro studies reveal that the plants are enriched with active substances, having medicinal potential. Major biological activities exhibited by Basala aba is androgenic, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antioxidant, anti-ulcer, antiviral, CNS depressant, and wound healing properties. Besides, this all the plant possesses a valuable ethnomedicinal importance and are used to cure digestive disorders, skin diseases, bleeding piles, pimples, irritation, anemia, moving cough, leprosy, insomnia, cancer, gonorrhea, burns, headache, ulcers, diarrhea, liver disorders, vomiting, and sexual asthenia. Hello guys, I'm Janarek P. Marquez. I'm here to present to you the methodology we used on our research. What kind of research did we use? So, we use experimental research. And it is the comparison of treatments and manipulation of one or more independent variables. It is about manipulating a certain variable directly and testing hypotheses regarding the cause and effect correlation. The research is conducted through an experiment utilizing a scientific approach on determining, measuring, and testing variables. The research design we use on our research is CRED or Completely Randomized Experimental Design. When the experimental subjects have the same features in terms of variables and the replication of the treatment is small, CRD is relevant. The values of the primary factor are given to the experimental units at random in totally randomized designs. Bottle of body, root extract, concentration, and dependent variables are experimental subjects that barred in the study. So this is the research diagram we made. We can see that the independent variable is the concentration of alubati fruit extract to distilled water. Varying amount of distilled water mixed with the alubati fruit extract. The dependent variable are the following. Vinegar, bleach, baking soda, lemon, juice, mouthwash, and cola soda. So this is the flow chart showing the process we made during the experimentation. First of all, we collected alubati fruits on various places. The alubati fruit extracts extracted by putting the alubati fruits in a sealed and closed plastic. The researchers used heavy objects to smash the fruits until it extracts the juices of the alubati fruit. The alubati fruit extract was drained and put in a clean plastic cup. The researchers brought different materials to be used as dependent variables. The following materials are vinegar, bleach, baking soda, lemon juice, mouthwash, and cola soda. In making different treatments of alubati fruit extract concentration, the alubati fruit extract was mixed with distilled water in a clean plastic cup. The following treatments follow a 1 to 5 ml measurement in a manner that the alubati fruit extract comes first before the amount of distilled water. The following treatments were in a 1 by 1 ratio, 1 by 2 ratio, and 1 by 15 ratio. In the actual experimentation, each bar treatment of alubati fruit extract solution were put on a clean cloth in a 5 ml measurement. Afterwards, the different subject variables were mixed with the alubati fruit extract solution. Each treatment and subject variables were always put on a clean and new plastic cup. In observation and data analysis, the mixing of the different treatment of alubati fruit extract solution, two different variables were observed right away when the dependent variable was being poured to the independent variable. The experiment was also recorded and was analyzed by the researchers. After weeks of observation and analysis, a conclusion that the hypothesis was finalized to tell the results of the experiment. Results and discussion The researchers conducted the first trial using 50 ml as the starting ratio of the solution on each cup same as the amount of acid and base products. As they continued on the experiment, they've lost track of the ratio of the solution but were able to prove that the solution reacts as expected. The color on the litmus paper also matches the color of the solution after adding the acid and base products. The test using pH meter is quite unstable. 
Due to that, the researchers conducted another trial which uses a precise ratio of concentrations of alubati, 1 to 2 ratio, distilled water, 1 to 15 ratio, and 1, 1, ay 1 by 1 ratio for the added acid and base products. Using the given ratios, the base products showed no reaction while the acid products show a minimal reaction. Summary, Conclusion, and Recommendation Summary, most people are unaware that some of their illness are caused by consuming or using products with high acidity and or basicity. To make them aware of acidity and basicity, they must first learn the pH level of each product. So, a pH indicator is required. This study focuses on nalugbate fruit extracts as an alternative pH indicator. The summary of procedures was as follows. Collection of alugbate fruits, extraction of alugbate fruits, preparing the sample products, mixing the different concentrations of alugbate fruits extracts, up to experimentation, data collection, and recording the results, and data analysis. In the first experiment, the final alugbate fruits extract reacted to the given sample products such as bleach, lemon juice, mouthwash, baking soda, and vinegar. Though some of them were not precise and accurate, unfortunately, they have lost track of the measurement while conducting the study, so the researchers decided to repeat it. On the second experiment, the base products showed no reaction while the acid products showed a minimal reaction when using the given ratios of concentrations of alukbati, 1 by 2 ratio, and distilled water 1 by 15 ratio, and 1 by 1 ratio for the added acid and base products. The conducted, the conducted study experiment was half successful and half unsuccessful because we couldn't find the exact ratio measurement of the first experiment on the last experiment. To conclude the study, the researcher found out that with proper ratio of fruit extract of alugbati and combined with distilled water performed best at acid with visible color changes and accurate result compared to bases with low to no visible color change. In contrary, the researchers lose track on the measurements on their first trial but able to prove that alugbati extract can be an alternative pH indicator. Recommendation the study suggests that the spectral analysis of fruit extracts can be used to determine their components, especially when trying to change the alugbati to find other natural plants as an alternative in determining pH level. Moreover, the, the main disadvantage of fruit extract is that they should be prepared fresh because after 3 days, compounds are prone to spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms. Therefore, the study recommends to use freshly extracted fruit extract to have an accurate and realistic results. It is also essential to use ripe alugbati fruit extract which can be determined with bright red purple color in contrast to its pale green to dark green color when unripe. Additionally, the study also suggests to use proper measuring equipment to achieve the accuracy of every results in the experiment, for it's important to get the right amounts of dependent variable not to promote false information in the research study.